Hi, Soul of Reflections once again with Adriana Lockhart. And if you're wondering where I am, I'm at the Atlantis, yes, all the way on the seventh floor. And you will see that beautiful scenery in black background behind me. It's a beautiful day today, but I must tell you that it's in the 70s and it's a little cool. Yes, that's cool for us. This is our autumn, but it feels as if we're actually in our winter. Now, this is our, our seventh episode of Soul Reflections, and you know we always give you a great show. We're going to, we Atlantis came here in the 90s, 1994, and Atlantis has been here back then. They're here now, and they're claiming that they're here to stay. Last time we were here, we talked about Bahama, but Atlantis has been with us for many years, and they employ over 6,000 Bahamian employees, yes, in our tourist industry. And the hotel right now, of course, America just celebrated Thanksgiving yesterday, and there's lots of visitors still in the hotel, yes. And of course, it's a family hotel. Well, today on our show, we always bring you things new about the Bahamas. So we're just showing you and showcasing one of our hotels and our beautiful background just take a look at that all the water that you see it's really a water park there's so many areas now I'm going to share a little secret with you years ago I worked at Atlantis yes in guest services I helped them with their Spanish guests and their German guests believe it or not and I spent two years there but of course after that I moved on they also have the area of Dolphin Key where they showcase their dolphins their sea lions and my daughter's there yes she loves the waters and she loves her little creatures she called them her babies well stay tuned and we'll be we'll, we'll be right back don't go anywhere because you know we have an exciting show for you today male and female I know yeah. does it have to do with the crowns on top yes <laughs> how do you I know I know a little bit okay, the, right here it is. Semen, so the one with it. the double prong normally yes. it's a female it's a female the one with the, with the it has a double prong but this like one is a little you know little flat not right. high here we go again a high prong with a shallow Two double. Right. So, so we're going to see now. Two females and a male. Right. Two males. Okay. So we're going to get that trunk out of there. Yeah, we use a knife. Okay. In the small hole that I made to loose it away from the shell. Then it comes up. Okay. And that is the live trunk. It is live. Yes, it is. It has two eyes. Mm -hmm. One eye. This is the other oh, eye. Oh, I can see the eyes. The mouth. That's the mouth. The chest. Okay. And that's the feet. Oh, okay. That's how it moves. And of course, that there, we it's, make sure uh, make sure you eat that. that spinal cord yes. or the spilling. The strongest part of the conch. It's an aphrodisia. Everybody got that an aphrodisia? You gonna take the first one? <laughs> I better. <laughs> I can't do that too often. <laughs> no. And this is a female conch. How do we know? By the line on it. Okay, the line. that line tells us that it's right. a female cow. So that's one with the double point. Okay. So let's go again for another female. So this will be another female. It's going to slip right out. And it's Our another female. Count. Yes, okay. And another spilly right there. I'll take this one. <laughs> yeah, you better take that one. <laughs> Not a female. Okay. So we got it right there. Double points on the female. That's the female. And of course we have our male counts. A lot of people don't know. And he's gonna do the same thing. Do a hole, chop a hole, and slide the conch out. Now of course the conch is a shell creature. Snail that lives in the It's a male, but it's a small one. Oh, it's a small male. Let me see if I can get a bigger one right here. Right here. So you will skin off the other part right. so we can get to the white meat. This is fish bait. And that's used for fish bait. When you go fishing, they would use that to bait the fish. And of course the fish loves it. So we cut that off. And cut you the just skin it and right. cut everything off. And then it's only the white meat that's left. And that's the part that we use for the cow salad. All right, I'm coming. How many years have you been doing this, Carson? I was doing it now for like 20 years. 20 years. Oh, you're an expert. And they wash it, of course. You must wash the count. Get it nice and white. You see how white it is and clean it is. Once all the skin is off. 
move over to the solid wood. Okay, so we're going to move over. I'm going to come this way, and we're going to see how they and of course you have what? Yeah, green peppers. Yeah. Can you tell us red what you peppers. Mean? Red peppers. And you have your tomatoes, Cucumber. cucumbers, pineapple, pineapple, mango. Mango. Whoa, this apples. is gonna be a tropical. Yeah, this is gonna be a, a tropical. tropical kang salad. Oh. It's just so delicious. Red and yellow, green bell peppers, tomato. Tomatoes and of course your onions. I go between tomatoes and tomatoes because of course um, um, we were in New England so I say both I know in America so they say tomatoes so if you hear me say tomatoes it's the same thing cut the lime cut the lime fresh squeeze orange okay and we add the orange in it and we're gonna see and of the apple the fruits and we're gonna see just how this is made and it's amazing what they you do with the knife I mean they don't even look and just cut so I'm gonna make sure I just a little out of the way and it's very healthy. As you can see, all the fruits is added, the vegetables, the greens, the bright colors, and it shows that it's also very healthy straight from the sea, fresh out of the cow shell. So Carson is gonna cut that up. And we keep these for earrings. Oh, those are what they use. The corn the that yeah. they make the earrings out of. So you don't throw those away. No. no. And the shells. Excuse me. Excuse me. Take my the thing. shells. One minute. And the shells. We make say? we make jewelry from the shell. Oh, that's also. the jewelry the from the shell. The corn jewelry. Another piece from the Are you shell? highlighting it today? Uh -huh. It's beautiful. Just the color pink that it shows. Yeah. It's beautiful. So we're gonna cut up the corn. And you can just see how how they just move their hands and they just cut and just into their work. <laughs> These knives are actually big and sharp and dangerous, but they can handle them so nicely. <laughs> so you'll put like two pounds in and each side. Along, in each Make side. Sure you have enough count. Okay, along with the fruits and the vegetables. Yeah. The tropical corn salad is so delicious. Look how that's cut out. And marinated in the in the lime and the orange juice. It adds a little flavor. And of course you add a bit of salt. And we put our pepper. Can't forget the pepper. Now you can have it mild or you can have it with lots of pepper. I tend to love it really mild. Just a little touch of that pepper in there. That's all to use right now is the sea salt. The sea from salt, the yes, from the that's family salt. islands, and that's very healthy. You don't have to worry about that making you sick because it's not processed. It's straight from the salt ponds, and it actually works along with your body. Oh, that pineapple smells so good, and the mango, wow. Yeah, fresh mm, cut pineapple. That scent smells so good, freshly cut. No I can smell it. No preservative. No preservative, preservative. Yes. No preservative. processed. All that stuff gets that in your body, you know, fresh. everything fresh. And that's how we stay healthy, eat from the sea and the land. Keeps you strong also. <laughs> okay, that looks delicious. And they're going to mix that all in there. Mm -hmm. Fresh sweet orange. Okay. And the big lime. Came straight out of Lutra. Straight out of Lutra, of course. Uh -huh. Actually, Lutra Pineapple. Just squeeze it. Just squeeze it. Makes it a lot easier. Much easier. Tropical kong salad. Tropical As you salad. see, uh, all the ingredients in here, we put it into the salad. Yes, of course. Yeah. We're not shorting anything. You get your nice cucumbers, cucumbers. Uh, you get your onions, you get your apples, you get your colored sweet pepper, you get everything what you see right here. Okay? Very windy. Yeah, so we're gonna set up. Like, ah, we 
you wanted the feta because so, of the wind. It's, it's so windy. windy. Oh, that looks yeah. beautiful. That looks so delicious. You know, I'm going to enjoy some. Good evening, Kang Sally. Bismi's cock of five, bees cock of five, me alone, dear boy. And the spoon. Do you want me to put it into a bag? Or? I'm going to hold okay. it up for them to see. Yeah, no, no problem. Okay, so I'm going to hold that up. This is That's our beef 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 salad. salad. Made by Barbie and Yellow. Yes, there okay, this looks so delicious. I'm going to taste some. Already. I can't resist. Mm. Did you I'm going to have salt, some right? of that. Have you added the salt right. this yet? Oh, no. No, he hasn't. Okay, let's get some Bahamian yeah, salt sure. from our salt ponds. Are you going to have to mix it again? Mm -hmm. I don't think you put the salt. Okay, but I'm going to taste some with honey because I know it's so delicious. Mmm. Mm, that is so delicious. Mmm. Right? Okay. So we're just going to add some sea salt. Let it go. Mm -hmm. Go right ahead. <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm going to serve you right now, honey. Give me a minute. Okay. okay. Take a look, you will see that we have some of our stingrays and our nurse sharks. Yes, those are huge stingrays. And our nurse sharks, of course, they're a little smaller, but they're known to be very calm and very mild. And if you were to see, we have the waterfalls. And on the back of me, we also have what you call the bridge suite. And that's the room that goes for about $25,000 per night. Sometime Ma Michael Jordan would come down, I knew some years ago with his whole family, and they would stay there. But the property here showcased so much of our wild creatures life off the sea, like our sharks and our stingrays. So I just had to bring that to you today. Hi. We're here and I have Lizette with us and we're in a local Bahamian store. Can you tell us the name please? Pure Caribbean. Pure Caribbean. And we're dealing with products, of course, as you know, I love to bring our products as made here in the Bahamas. And this caught my attention because I see we have, um, can you tell us what we have on this um, shelf? I see guava jam. Okay, we have your guava jam, you have your pineapple and coconut jam. Okay, so this will be like our pineapple and coconut jam. Mm -hmm. And that's made with the pineapple and, and the coconut. coconut. It, uh, in a little bottle and you have the mango and the pineapple and that's of course that comes from our uh, mango trees that's yes. tropical here and our pineapple which we know a lot of them are grown in Eleuthera but they can be grown here in New Providence but they're grown in Eleuthera and our guava jam 
um, comes from the guava tree, the bohemian guava. I haven't seen a bohemian guava tree in a long time. But I know there is there's some people who still have them in their yard yeah. because of a lot of the construction that's going on in Providence. We tend to lose a lot of our trees, but in our family, at least we still have them. Now I see you have the jerk sauce. Now the jerk was actually bought here from Jamaica. No, we actually do the jerk locally. Okay, it's you make it locally, but what I'm saying is that um, it's not actually a Bahamian thing. No, it's actually a Caribbean thing. It's a Caribbean it's thing. Yes. But I just remember recently we just got right. into jerk right. and of course we got into the the curry which of course was also yes. bought here um, from Jamaica but it's all Caribbean food and we enjoy it and you have the coconut barbecue sauce mm -hmm. oh that must be delicious barbecue sauce with a coconut flavor yes. do you actually I and see you have to actually, actually yes. have the cut of coconut in there do you what other ingredients do you have any honey no honey okay it's just the coconut yes, and the, the barbecue yes. sauce and we have some more of our jams here the pure sea salt. The pure sea salt. We're coming across this a whole lot. Yes. The pure sea salt. Behemoths are getting more into the pure sea salt. And um, of course, some of our islands imported. One is Ragged Island, yes. and then Long Island, I think, is and, it? Yes. Anilutra, or it's just Exuma. Exuma. Those are three islands. And of course, the modern salt has um, the Nagua Islands, and that's more um, international, um, made by a foreign company, Morton's. And we also have our pepper sauce here. The pepper sauce. Can you tell us this is the um, goat pepper? Yes, it's this goat is pepper. the Bahamian goat pepper. That's why it has that orangey flavor. Oh, that must be nice. Yeah, I like nice. Actually, do you have this in our regular stores, food stores? Yes. We do. Oh, so I need to look for some regular Bahamian pepper sauce. I, I normally sometimes I use it. Okay, okay. Is there anything else that's local here? Um, that you can show us. I noticed that we have our Christmas trees. And you have more of the hot sauces. More right of the hot sauces. So we're getting more hot pepper tonic mustard. Yes. You know, all these and products are really... Mango. Oh, the mango, Bahamas Julie mango. Mm -hmm. Is that mango hot sauce? Yes. Well, that must be interesting with yes. another flavor. It seems like so many new products are coming out and I'm getting more exposed to them also as I expose, of course, our viewers to um, as we interview things as we hear here. And are all of these also seasons that's yes. made here from different plants? Island curry special blend. This is actually one of the favorite, which is your island spice salt. The island spice salt ingredient, salt, thyme, bay leaf, all spice, and hot pepper. Wow, that must be delicious. I need to come and get into actually bringing our bohemian seasoning into my kitchen because I notice that there's a lot of them out there. Well, um, is there anything else you'd like to show us? I notice we have a Christmas tree and I can pass this by because all the ointments on this Christmas tree are made from shells. And all the ointments are they are so beautiful. The starfish and the different shells, and they're actually placed together to create the ointment. So I couldn't pass this by. We are shot of that. And there's another one over here. And I noticed also you have some poetries. Um, these are local artists. Yes, local oh, artists. some of our local artists, those are beautiful. And they're just actually places here in Providence yes. and the family and yes. they just go and they paint. Oh wow, of course that's the Atlantis and boats at sea, coconut trees on the beach, just beautiful scenery highlighting what you would find in the Bahamas, the seagulls on our waters as you saw earlier. Um, in our show we have the live seagulls, now you see it in our poetry. But thank you so much yeah. Lizette for letting us showcase things Bohemian in your shop today. Very it was welcome. really a pleasure, yes. thank you so much. I'm here with Monica and Monica's going to tell us what we have here. And I see we have some beautiful paintings I could not pass up. Monica, can you just tell us some of um, the paintings that we have here who our artists are? Um, this artist right there, this one is inspired Cliff Milburn. Okay. That's the artist who does it. Most oh. all of these pictures right here is inspired like different things. Is that like a blue molly? That's the blue molly. That's the Bahamian um, uh, national uh, fish actually. The blue yes, molly. Okay. And this oh, one right wow. here is Atlantis. This is Atlantis and the dolphins. Yes. Yes. Oh, made wow. from Emmanuel. By Manuel. Yeah. Okay, and thank he's you. a good artist. Also, he's the one who do the blue marling. Okay, he's and the one the, who paints those. Yes, the blue marling. Yes, and, this one's right here. Oh, his paintings are beautiful. I love this because it shows actually our uh, sunshine. 
and the reflection of the sun on the waters. Yes. This will almost be like when the sun is going down. Are you, you can see the glow of that. Yeah. And I see you, we have some other artists here. These are some different artists yes. also. This one's right here from Emmanuel also. Emmanuel. The same guys. Oh, it's the same painters? Yes, like we have like 18 artists of them. 18 who paint. artists that, that actually um, put place their work here. Yes, right oh, here in the Bahamas. Oh, that is beautiful. And All I these see. right here, we have like different artists. Let me turn around. This one right here, this beautiful one right here from Philip. Oh, that is gorgeous. Right here. That's oh. African beauty. Showing the African beauty. We yeah, can, we can pass that up, of course. Yes. Oh, that is gorgeous. <laughs> the colors are just awesome. Yeah. And I see you have some ones over here. Yes. Um, nice. This is showcasing what our boats and this is at the dock, of course. Yes, yeah, underneath the bridge. The, okay, underneath the bridge, because I was trying to wonder which which um, dock that was yes. showcasing. <laughs> so I just got it underneath the bridge. And, and of course, our I lighthouse. Oh, that is beautiful. The lighthouse. With the lighthouse. With the water. And with the water. This is almost like they, um, the lighthouse that they have on Paradise Island that they um, yeah. got a replica of that. And this is the coconut tree here. Yes. Oh, wow. And this is, I see it has grace on it. Is that the artist's yes, name? Yes, grace. That would be the artist's grace. So I would and assume then, that perhaps that's one of our female artists. That's she's very her. amazing. Yes, yeah, she is very amazing. Dola. Dola, that's some one of her paintings. That's one of her paintings her also. Paintings also. Now you can see um, all of them is similar to her painting. Now I don't hear much about females artists here in the Bahamas or in Nassau. You hear so much about the males. So it's nice to see that we actually have some female artists. And this is by Chapman. Yes. W. Chapman. I see you have a dancer here now. Of course, you know, I love to dance. <laughs> that would catch my attention to our Bohemian music, of course. And I see we have some other... This one's right here. There's a beautiful piece right here. Oh, like that here. is. Okay. They dance in the shoes. It's like similar to Junkanoo. Similar Jean to our Junkanoo. Yes. Showcasing the Caribbean. Right. It is similar to our Junkanoo. But well, we're going to go back over here. And I saw that you have a lot of things in your store. Yeah, I, I was so lot. surprised when I walked in. There's so much little trinkets that's there. And as we pass some of our artistry here, we're going to go inside. Okay. Okay, so, and you can tell us what you have here. I saw some excellent woodwork that's actually hung on the wall. Okay, we're actually inside. Can you give us the name of the store that we're inside now? Um, this store is like the Paint Art Gallery. The Paint Art Gallery, okay, downtown. And I see that we have a lot of different carvings. Now these carvings are simply amazing because they're showing coconut trees and the images of ballerinas and dancers and horses and the uniqueness and the detail that I see they actually place in these little um, carvings. Yeah. Oh, and, oh my God, is this a violin? Yes, ma'am. Oh, that is beautiful. <laughs> Just look and at we that woodwork. And we also, okay, the ladies, the shapely ladies, of course. <laughs> that would catch my attention, as you can see. And this is one, of course, of Jesus. Yes. And, and, and we have the cross also, so they do a lot of different woodwork here. Now these paintings, those are hand painted on woodwork. Yes, surfboards. Yes, ma'am. And the shells. The oh, shells is real can shells. I, oh, and we just real. Can over I just it. pick it up? Oh wow, that is a real shell, and they're just painted on. Yes, ma'am. Oh, you can't beat that. That is beautiful. And of course, our surfboards that's painted on. And you can and, see this little jewelry box. And they these are jewelry shells. box, just decorated with shells. I'm gonna open that so you can see it's actually a jewelry box. Oh, those are so amazing. I I never would have thought that it had so much in here. And <laughs> I see that you have the um, those are like faces. Yeah, like the faces of that the you will of masks that you will place on the wall, and they sort of have an African touch to them. They have the African touch, but also we kind of like talk about like junkanoo, like the, you saw, yeah, junkanoo, like how the of, ladies and the how junkanoo they move wear. and how they right. dress and everything. Yes, and I here's the right here. all our instruments with the hands actually playing, and the ballerina, of awesome. course. Who who would carve these? Can you tell us the artist's name? The, Are they different? The, Yes, the guy who actually does these is Matthew. Matthew? Yes, but he's not in the island right now. He go on to the vacation with his family. Oh, he family. went on vacation with his family. Yes. Okay, and this is the, what's well, the type of tree in the background that yes. I'm actually going to walk around because I want to get the carvings of the tree. Yes.
more shells. Wow, yes. you yeah, have bigger ones. Okay, these are the carvings of the trees. Yes. Now the detail that must go into those. Oh yes. wow, and most of our work that's done by artists is that carve. A lot of them didn't actually go, let's say, to university to learn how to carve. Normally it's something that's passed on through family. Um, it's passed on locally from one family member to the next, and it's a learned art that they do. And I notice there's the t this is a shark too. Yes. I haven't seen those in years. Yes, this, this is, is a real shark. It's a real shark, I can yes. tell. And this is the shark tooth, and of course, once it's clean, it's used to decorate. Um, this would be more or less like a nurse shark. Yeah. A smaller form of shark, because yeah. of course the tiger sharks are so much bigger, <laughs> or the white shark. Well, okay, thank you so much, Monica. Thank you for having us come in no and problem. viewing no all the things that you have that's bohemian. Yes. And that's part of what my show does. We like to highlight yeah. things that's very bohemian, made in the Bahamas, and show our viewers actually what we do have here to offer in the Bahamas, and some of our artwork that's done locally right here. Yes. Well, you know, we're always so excited to bring you another show and we realize that our time is winding down. We, of course, showcase a few of our stores in the downtown through the little cracks and fruits that you can actually walk through from Main Bay Street. And it was so exciting just to highlight some of our bohemian things that we actually do right here in the Bahamas. I hope you enjoy it. Of course, Soul Reflections, you can reach us at Soul Reflections with Adrana at yahoo.com. And we thank you so much for your comments and all the likes that we get as our viewers watch our show and we're so, um, sad that we have to leave you now but you know we will be back with a great show pretty soon so we expect you to tune in and we just say to our viewers we appreciate all the time when you view with us and we just thought today that we'll just show you a little bit of downtown Nassau and what happened on our seafront and of course we cannot forget our Bohemian Consolid and I would say so reflection saying goodbye now Thank you.